and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video now in today's video we are stripping it right back to basics and I'm going to basically show you my skincare routine now I am a big believer when it comes to skincare that less is more I always have been um, I do sort of still stand by that and I just wanted to show you some of my go-to products that I actually do use on a daily basis. Um, so I don't wear makeup every single day, believe it or not. Um, some days, like on a Monday, I have as most of like more of an admin day, and I will just wear my skincare, and that's that. I might put a little bit of mascara on just if I'm nipping to the shop or something, uh, but this is it, and this is also what I would always wear underneath my makeup. So, I've got my coffee, I hope you have too, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, so first off, um, I haven't actually brought it up here, I'm in my filming room, um, and it is downstairs because I didn't, it wasn't necessary for me to show you, but obviously I've got nothing on my face and I do always use the same face wash I have used um, I have basically two that I go between the Liz Earl cleanse and cleanser cleanse and tonic you know that combination um, but yeah I always use that one or the Neutrogena uh, pink grapefruit or the oil free green one I link them below Honestly, I've used them for years. Some people don't get on with them. I've got quite sort of oily skin, so oil-free products work really well for me. So, um, on a sort of regular basis, probably like twice a week, I do top up the tan on my face using either the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan. This is the tinted version. And it is actually a body lotion, but I only use this on my face and my neck purely because I find that it really does um, give a nice glow and if you're putting makeup on straight away you've got that base there so I love this one um, I just absolutely love this I'm also a big fan of a um, like a tan mist and a tan spray for my face and I do like the this the tan tan lux tan water this is the hydrating self tan water and actually this isn't fair uh, and I would say you don't need to go any dark with this one unless you are like really dark I use this and honestly it's dark enough right so actual skincare so I'm gonna go in with a couple of cotton pads and this is my Liz Earl eye bright soothing eye lotion I swear by this product it's just an eye toner um, so I just pop a little bit onto my cotton pads so it sinks in and I just place it onto my eyes and just sweep it over and underneath my eyes as well so that will really help to just take away any puffiness and um, any redness and it really does give you a really awake feeling it's absolutely gorgeous actually I'm gonna pop a bit of lip um, balm on later but I am actually gonna put a little bit on now because my lips feel really dry this is the Jo Malone vitamin E lip conditioner love this really like um, how moisturizing it is okay so my eye toner is done now I'm going to use I'm going to go in with bigger cotton pads for this my nip and fab renew retinol fix tonic extreme now I would recommend using this more at night than through the day but because I'm not going anywhere and I'm not going to be putting on any makeup today you know so it doesn't irritate my skin um, just because it is quite a strong product 
So I'm just going to pat that together. Obviously my hands are really clean and I'm literally just sweeping that over my face. So not on the eye area because I've already got my toner there. Move my mirror a little bit. So let's just make sure my skin is getting all the anti-aging properties it needs. It is such a lovely product, it really does help um, with fine lines. I have actually found that the, um, the wrinkles that I was starting to get, like around my eyes here and definitely down the bridge of my nose they seem to be a little bit less visible. I've been using this like a good few weeks. I am a strong like believer in nip and fab products. I always have been, I've always purchased them. And I really like this. I don't want it to run out. I don't want it to run out. Because I actually think it's making a difference. But what? <sighs> Who knows? Okay, so this is the Ordinary. I love the Ordinary products. They are so affordable. They just do what they should and the price point is brilliant. This is the Hyaluronic Acid in 2% plus B5. Yeah, I, I don't really know. You know, like all my um, skincare products, like vitamins. So I just put a little bit of this on. Um, you don't want loads, you don't need loads, it's an acid. And just swipe that. And I just packed all my products in. Don't really agree with um being really really harsh I'm actually going to go in with a um, rose quartz like facial roller for this step because this is cold and it actually it, my sister got me this from TK Maxx I know she worked from TK Maxx because I asked her because I was so impressed with it she got me this at Christmas last year and it vibrates how cool is that? And I'm literally just taking it down. So you can see that I have got a little bit of redness starting to appear from that acid. So I, I literally only do this once a week. Once a week. And when I know I'm not going anywhere, I know I'm not putting any, um, what's the word? Yeah, I'm not putting any makeup on my skin because I want to make sure it has all the time it needs to work in. So yeah, I'm going to just a little bit, apply a little bit more pressure on my temples. bit of a facial um, massage and going downwards because this just gets rid of any excess fluid that I might have on my face. I don't think there's anything more relaxing than that guys taking the time out to your skincare honestly it feels like sh such a luxurious um like active self-care but it is literally minutes minutes okay so my hyaluronic acid my toner they're all on obviously i do only use this about once a week that's the only product i would say i use once a week i use this in the evening unless i've got all day to kind of chill at home Okay, so eye cream. Now, um, if I am wearing makeup on, like, 
say I was going out somewhere today, I would use this eye cream. This is the Boots Q10. Um, I love anything with Q10. I just think it's really good for anti-aging. Um, I always, always, always use an eye cream. As you will know, I am a big smoky eye and heavy makeup wearer, and I need to protect my eye area. So I would use this. However, if I am not wearing makeup, and I just want to do my skincare, I will go in with the Liz Earl eye cream. This is the brightening, instant brightening eye cream. And it has horse chestnut flower, borage oil, and echinacea. Um, and the reason I like this is because it actually has a little bit of pigment in it. So it really is going to waken my eye up. So I'm actually going to go in with a brush for this. Just trying to find a good brush. So like I would a concealer, I'm going to take that on the lid as well. There we go. Okay. And quickly, before I do anything else, I am going to curl my lashes. Um, even when I'm not wearing makeup, I just find this really does do the most. These are the Ico um, eyelash curlers. So, I also tilt them up and give them a couple of little squeezes. I just think this is like the best. There we go. Let me just... Look at my lashes! Wow! Amazing, and I don't have a tint or anything on them. Right, so now onto my day cream. When I am wearing makeup, um, a lot of you will know I am now a fan of the Olay Regenerous Whip. I say now because I was really skeptical to buy it. It is like a lot to splash out on on a sort of a drugstore um, face cream, but I found the tester in TK Maxx. And I'm loving it, so I'll definitely be repurchasing it. However, I'm actually going to use the OK Glowing Moisturiser. I've talked about this a lot before um, because it has a bit of an illuminator in it. So, again, I've run out of this basically. On days when I am um, not wearing makeup, basically, you know. just really makes my skin look really healthy. I mean look at that glow. How gorgeous. And the last thing I'm going to finish off off with is my Clarins Lip Perfector. I do prefer the like brown packaging of this and um, it doesn't really come out brown, it's just not got a pinky tinge to it but you just can't go wrong with this. I repurchase these every Christmas because they come out with them in a bundle. I just love them. So I'm actually going to pop a little bit of mascara on just because I feel like that's going to really finish finish my face off um, and as I said I'm not going anywhere today it's just I just feel like I feel glowy now so I just want to pop a bit of mascara on. This is the Maybelline Sky High. I'm only going to put it though on my top lashes because I, um, I don't need anything else really and also I think that if you just pop a bit on your top lashes um, and none on your bottom it just keeps your eye looking really awake so I'm not even coating like my full lash to be honest guys I'm just popping a bit at the ends there as well and I've just got a bit Okay guys, so there we are, my skincare is done. I'll probably do a mask tonight. I've just got one to show you here. I love the Garnier ones, the Garnier Moisture Balm and um, 
yeah, the Moisty Bum Tissue for eye masks. They're my favourite. They're my ride or die. And yeah, they're just brilliant. You can't beat them. So I really hope hope you enjoyed this video. Something a bit different, a shorter video, but again bringing it back, back to basics. And I'm enjoying showing you different steps towards my makeup and not just here is a full tutorial. I like to show you obviously the different steps that I incorporate to make sure when I am doing the full face, my skin, my face is looking the best it can be. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to never miss a video. Put the notification bell on because I normally upload twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.